like it a model school is an awesome little school. We, um, we've grown a lot over the past five years. We've basically tripled our role and that's always a, a great, great thing for a school. I think one of the main reasons that we're growing is because we really care about our kids. We have a really active, hands-on, authentic learning approach here at our school, which, which means that STEM fits in really well with our philosophy. We like getting kids out there and involved and part of the community, looking at problems and coming up with solutions in our school and, and in our whole community. So a few years ago this was just a big panic overgrown and stuff and around four years ago the senior class had a good idea of making a like foresty sort of thing up here and we wanted more birds and animals to come to our school and stuff. And so we planted a few hundred trees here and it's taken around three or four years but we've got, it's pretty cool now. So some ideas that we've had, um, we've, we've got a marvellous lady called Suze who works for us in our school and she is a really skilled scientist and has worked with our kids before and we'd love to actually utilise her a little bit more and get her out there teaching science to, to our students each week. At the moment we can't afford to do that so that would be one great way of spending some of the prize money. We'd also like to increase our space so that we can have really great science resources stored adequately and also spaces in which to use them. So we're looking at a eco-friendly type of building and we're thinking that maybe we can involve the community in that as well and get some people that are into architecture and um, into eco-friendly type buildings to come in and help us and work with the kids and design a building that um, is solar powered and maybe wind powered, collects its own water, all that sort of thing. And we could use that as a space where the community can also come and see what an eco building is all about and um, also use it to get in there and do our science experiments and have all our science gear. The children have said to us, you know, that they'd like to have more microscopes and they'd like to have more hands-on gear and some more equipment to, to construct with. And so that that's something else that we'd love to be able to do as well. They're, they're a bit smaller, but equally as important. Um, the teachers have also got into the new digital tech um, curriculum and they're really excited about that. They've been um, making their own grids on the ground and using children as robots when they're doing their coding and their programming. So it would be great to actually have the proper equipment for that. So um, if we were to win some prize money, then we might be able to actually afford the proper gear for them to teach that sort of thing to the children as well. So we've got lots and lots of cool ideas. We've got lots and lots of children at our school that would absolutely love some more resources. We've got really excited teachers at our school and obviously a really amazing community that have all come together to put us in this position in the first place. And they're all so behind this and are all so keen for us to get something concrete out of this competition. So thank you for the opportunity and um, we can't wait to hear back some more from you. Wait. Wait.